Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice. I want to ask you, is it raining where you are? Yes, teacher. In San Salvador, it's raining. Yeah, right. I was there uh, like two hours ago, and it was raining. And here in Santa Ana, it's always raining. Uh, is there anybody else that is from a different place from Santa Ana and San Salvador that can tell me if it's raining in that place? Because I heard that it was going to rain in the whole country, but I'm not sure if that is going to happen here. Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening. Uh, yes, teacher, here in in one place <laughs> in San Salvador, it's raining too. When I where I live, it's raining, but, it's raining. but a little raining. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I I well, that's what I was checking. That it's raining, but it's not that hard, right? It's raining. Yes. Like just a little bit. It's kind of nice. Are you driving from your home? Yeah. Ah, okay. Be careful. That, that's, yeah, I'm almost there anyways. Okay, yesterday we were checking about training and some other things. So I have a question for you. Uh, if you were to design a training, what kind of training would you deliver? What would be the topic that you would like to teach, let's say, in the company or to friends? Uh, what would be that, that topic that you would like to teach to anybody? Uh, in my in my opinion, teacher, uh, uh, I would like to be a part of um, of training when the 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 main topic is uh, create a group of of help the community. Uh, Building uh, schools, uh, fix hospital. Can you? Uh, can I say uh, fix or repair? And you can say repair. Repair. Okay. And when when I, I when we we can use a uh, fix. A fix is when you have like a problem or when something is broken. But if oh, you're it, talking about a building, it might be better to repair. Uh, repair yeah. Okay. Uh, I I like I, I like to be part of this 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 groups teacher because I like I like to help people helping in different uh, situations. Uh, this is this is a, a little part of my life that I I I. Take time. I uh, put my best before when I when I have a chance for do that. And yeah, for sure, I, I would like to be in a training uh, when topic is 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 that uh, is a uh, a. Uh, uh, how do you say Con conciencia? Conscious. Con conscious. To create conscious. Yes, yes. Yes, this is in my opinion, teacher. Interesting. Anybody else Anybody wants else? to to share? I something? want to I want to learn Excel. Oh. Excel is amazing, you know, uh, it's one of my favorite things in the world. I believe that you can do lots of things in uh, with Excel. Uh, it's one of the first things that I learned and has helped me doing lots of things. So it's very good. Any other has a different opinion? What would you like to teach? Or what would you like to learn? In my case, teacher, when there are new knowledge, uh, I like that the specific training 
what is the news about the specific topic? Is interesting and is, and you update your knowledge. Okay. The new so, topic, the new regulation, the new skill for a specific task. I like it. Okay. So it's going to be something related to financials? Financial or other topic? For example, today I have a, a trainer related to the sustainable the topic re related the economic uh, factors, okay. for example, the environment. The it is a new topic, but it is interesting. The new services, the new services, uh, specific for the area, the advisory area teacher. Mm, okay. Uh, oh, me, that is. Uh, it's interesting. The new topic. Yeah, that that is kind of interesting what you're saying. Something yeah. very nice. Okay. How do you express uh, redacción y ortografía? Uh, you can say grammar and spelling. Grammar and spelling. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is I something think, that. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I think the the many people needed that that topic. In general, <laughs> that is true. That is true. Many people, yeah. many people can 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 do that. A, a email. Yeah, yeah, that is true. I, I sometimes I see. I mean, in many in many places, people that they are not able to to write correctly, to express an idea correctly, uh, and yes, in the professional matter, I believe that that is. I mean, something that anybody. Needs right. Okay, good, good, good entrance. So we're going to continue speaking today about a training. By now, we're going to check about the platform. So this is the class of tonight, and this is the homework of tonight. Oh, not that one, this one. So you just need to click and check what will be the correct answer, and then uh, submit it. Uh, remember that for Thursday, we need to finish everything, Thursday. I see that some of you, you still have pending this, uh, unit two, the unit three, and things like that, okay? So let's be careful on that one and remember that we need to finish. The most of you are very good. And uh, we're going to check the attendance, of course. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Good evening, teacher present. Good, good evening. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present, teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eras. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdavas. Cheer. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Maybe Cormoto García de Calderón. I thought she was here, but she went away. Okay. Eh, Manuel Antonio Palma. Present. Good. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Presente. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Presente. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Presente. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Arauco. Presente. Good evening. Good evening. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Good. Perfect. So we're going to start with a little video and then we're going to to check into that one. This one, but this one. Okay, here we go. 
Remember to check the pronunciation, check uh, the words that the person says, and of course, the main topic, so we can provide opinions or uh, comments about that. So here we go. I'd like to talk to you about learning styles. And I'm gonna break this next little section into two parts. First, I gotta give you some context and a bit of a framework so that you get the right mindset as it comes to teaching adults, because I'm gonna make the assumption that probably everyone that is a coach or a trainer that is part of this program is working with adults. Children, similar concepts apply, but we're really gonna focus on the adult learner here. And the adult learner, is different, especially people that have got a lot of experience uh, from a new person just starting off on the job. And let me give you an example of what I mean by that. Uh, I've walked into rooms where I have had a large group of seasoned employees, and you can literally tell where the, the body language and the, the facial expression is kind of, I don't know what you're going to teach me, uh, I don't want to be here, this is a waste of time. You're probably going to find that as well because uh, some people, uh, we in the industry refer to them as training hostages. You may have someone that is the equivalent and you're going to have to work at building rapport and trust and getting them to open up so you can connect with them. Because in spite of how they feel and what they want to, want to do or not do, the uh, reality is some of these people are in your class or you're teaching them and you have a responsibility to equip them with the skills and the, uh, the tools that we provide you in the Mike Keeson program to help them become more effective and more successful. So remember, when you're dealing with adults, you have to acknowledge their experience, their perspective, and validate them for who and what they are. You can't change anyone. You can simply create an environment where they open up to learn and to develop. In order to help you be more effective, what you'll find in this section is some great resources. One of the first ones is The Power of Three. It's an article, an excerpt from a, from a longer article that gives some perspective on the research that uh, and the insight that people in the area of neuroscience are discovering about how we think and patterns for people that uh, teach and that lead others that they can apply to help people remember and internalize concepts. So the power of three, I encourage you to read that article, it's a great one. Uh, attention span. Further, really, if you read that article, I'm, I'm going to make you read it because I'm going to tell you the numbers and, and the statistics because it's absolutely mind-boggling when you realize just how little time you actually have to engage somebody and have them with you. And you'll notice this as soon as you start teaching or if you've ever done any training. When the heads go down and people start doodling, usually you've lost them. So great research there that will help you realize that the importance of applying tools and activities that you find in this program throughout the program will engage learners, plus you're going to have more fun and you're going to be more effective. Beyond that, learner engagement is critical. Uh, I refer to Maslow's four stages of learning, and you'll see this if you've gone through the Mike Keeson program in a couple of the, the earlier segments. We talk about the four stages of unconscious competence uh, to uh, conscious competence and so forth. I again encourage you to look at where you're at on those four levels and then really try to assess where your audience or the people that you're coaching are at. Uh, and what you can find is that you may have someone that is level four in one area and actually level two in another area. So there's a real range of awareness and application that you have to deal with as the trainer and the, as the coach. The, the last part before the templates and exercises deals with three factors that are really significant in adult learning. The first one is fear, the second one is pride, and the third one is ignorance. I want you to read that section carefully and really reflect on that relative to the group that you're going to be working with. And maybe even for yourself, you may be forced into this role, not assuming that you're here because you want to do this. This may be a new responsibility and role that you're being asked to take on. So look at your own issues. How do you feel about the fear of stepping up and coaching and training others? They, you could be very anxious. I remember when I first started doing this many years ago, I was terrified. So I can relate to where some of you may be at. If you persevere, if you apply what I'm going to give you here and the resources that you find, you will get better. You have to work at it. But if you apply yourself and deal with some of your barriers and some of the biases that you have and open your mind to learning, you will improve. And in order for you to do that for others, quite frankly, it has to start with you. So enough of that. Let's talk about some of the tools you have here. So there's preparation strategies. If you look at what follows in this uh, particular section, you'll see some 
exercises that have information and then blank spaces. I'd like you to either just uh, download a copy and you can uh, add the information or you can print something out and take it with you or at least use it as a planning tool before you do a session as you engage the learners, whether it be in your company or the group that you happen to be working with where you're teaching this course. As you go through each of these sections, so whether it's about group dynamics for uh, creating uh, instructional planning and, and uh, learning sessions, or it's factors that influ influence adult learning, whatever it happens to be, spend some time in these and actually complete them because they're going to help you understand your audience, they're going to help you prepare yourself, and the end result is you're just going to be way more effective and quite frankly the people that are sitting in the chairs listening to you or going through the training or coaching are going to have a better time and they're going to internalize this and if you come back and reinforce and review you're going to start seeing changes in behaviors application and greater success from the people that you're teaching okay what do you get from the video This many thing about many topics important. Okay. In the beginning, uh, many times you create in your mind something is not good, but the end you 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 I don't know the word teacher. You are surprised for the for learning. Okay. And sometimes we are, sometimes we, on the criticamos. We criticize. We criticize the person. He, like he said, it's not easy to stand up with many people see you. So that is true. I mean, uh, it's something that we discussed before, right? It's, uh, for some people, it's difficult to be in front of people to teach, to speak about something. So to train or to uh, deliver coaching, uh, sometimes it's very difficult as well. And uh, yeah, what you say is also important. I mean, when you get surprised, it's when you really learn. That is the real education. When you get to know something that you didn't know that you don't know, right? So that is a very good thing. Any, any other opinion or comment about the video? Uh, teacher, <clears throat> being honest, in my case, I <laughs> I have uh, issues to to understand that okay. uh, person said, but but I I I think uh, he he uh, he mix. A relationship into uh, between uh, the audience and the 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 people uh, the the people that uh, that talk. Uh, uh, how do you say, teacher? Okay, the the, the, the presenter. Mm -hmm. The relationship, uh, the 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 he mentioned also a uh, body language. Mm -hmm. uh, the the when people have a, a lot of experience uh, on on he on he or she do and. Uh, to to give or or to bring the the knowledge to the others that that's i i try i try teacher but i i have difficult <laughs> okay no well sometimes it happens but the interesting of the activity is that i mean when you watch a video you i mean you have different people that with different accents different vocabulary they speak different, so it's interesting to check into that. Yeah, one, many, right? many new vocabularies. Yeah, that is it. Sometimes that happens. Uh, mostly when they are 
when they are speaking like professional things with yes <laughs> their new words but that is that is the good thing but this is a challenge to understand. yeah definitely definitely yeah i believe that uh, it's not possible to understand 100 percent of what they say but if we train our minds we will be able to to get their main idea and then little by little we get to know about other things right Good, so let's speak about the importance of training. So let's check the video first. Employees stay longer in companies that put an emphasis on building their knowledge and skills. Training is relevant to any career, and it's an opportunity for employees to improve and become more effective in the workplace. A well thought out training program has many benefits to a company. Employees that undergo training improve their work performance and helps them become more efficient and effective. Exposure to company-wide training helps standardize your work processes. Procedures that you want your employees to follow closely are more likely to be observed as a result. When employees are trained, there can be better use of the company's materials. Accidents and equipment damage are minimized, keeping waste low. Employees who are well-trained and educated in all aspects of their work are able to work more independently and reduces the amount of supervision needed. Trained employees have a greater chance of being promoted from within the company, which may allow you to onboard leaders who are already familiar with your company. An organized system of training helps employees learn in a systematic way, preventing employees from learning by trial and error. Employees who go through training programs feel supported and excel in their work environment. Training boosts your team morale and self-confidence. Confident and capable employees can help customers solve their problems more quickly and easily, and customers feel the impact of working with experienced people. Investing in your team's growth and learning creates an atmosphere that encourages every employee to feel valued, supported, and welcomed. Technology is ever-changing across all industries, and employees benefit from learning new techniques in advanced technology. Training is clearly very important to companies that want to thrive. So what type of training could you provide? Management training. This type of training prepares those employees who are being promoted to managerial or senior level positions in an organization. On-the-job training. Especially used for new employees, on-the-job training will help them learn what is expected of them and the skills necessary for their new job. Category training. Most companies develop courses for many different skill sets to cover their employees whether they want to learn to be a subject matter expert or a team leader. Legal training. Rules and regulations impact all workplaces and having employees well-versed in their state, local, and federal laws can be beneficial or necessary for companies. Inclusivity training. Employers want everyone on their team to feel valued and welcomed, and inclusivity training can help build understanding and team cohesion. You can learn more tips for managing a team and creating healthy workplace environments on Career Guide, or by creating or signing into your free Indeed account. Okay, so what do you get from this video? Uh, this video, uh, I I I for, uh, I consider uh, easier than other. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, because uh, we we can see some images in uh, you you know uh, an image talks more <laughs> 1000 words right yeah and uh, but yes uh, uh firstly the the benefits but i like uh, the benefits of benefits of, of training but i i i liked uh when people say uh less waste of resource uh, 
uh, about the the technology. Oh, also, I remember an impact when people when when employees are training are training. Uh, they create a big impact to the to the company and the company that that give the service. And the last one, I remember uh, the type of training. Uh, many, many. But uh, I remember uh, uh, unless uh, one is a uh, uh, for example, uh, when people is fired, it's a new new employee. Uh, this uh, this uh, employees need to be include inclusive, uh, and they need to feel uh, to feel uh, welcome. Yeah. Very good. So yes, I mean, uh, you are right. I mean, this video was created to communicate. So that is different. It's like, I mean, it's not the same to speak with the teacher. The teacher speaks very slow and clearly that when you speak yeah. with an American, right? The American, they speak very yeah. fast. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Any other comments on the video? Teacher. Sure. In yeah. my case, uh, for me, it's uh, important and um, the the employees has um as a good uh and training, uh, because um the employees has a more efficient um and uh, is. Desenvolvimiento, development. some more development, uh -huh. development in in your responsibility. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a good. benefit. It's a good a uh, a good company. It's a uh, uh, it Elson Elson is a skill in, in the employees. Mm -hmm. That is so true. I mean, uh, yes, definitely this is a benefit not only for the employees and also for the uh, for uh, the company. So whenever you are trained, you are more secure, you help in better ways. And that's what we're going to discuss in this week. So uh, what is the importance of employee training? We're going to start with that one. Susana Hernandez, could you please help me reading this part? Okay, teacher. What is the importance of employee training? Training is important because it represents a good opportunity for employees to grow their knowledge base and improve their job skills to become more effective in the workplace. Despite the cost of training for employees, the return on investment is immense if it is consistent. There are several reasons it is important for employees to initiate training programs for their employees. So us. Okay. So uh, what did you understand on this part? Okay. I understand that um, the companies have the choice for capacitate uh, his employees. And many times this, the um, inversion uh, have very uh, have good results for the company and employee. In this case, like like this course is free for the company and for us, and then have a good result. Okay, so definitely that is going to be very important in general. I mean, uh, it's going to be better the development of the employees and they are going to have better skills. Anybody know or remember what is skills? It's a experience teacher. Uh, it's a part of your knowledge experience that you you have. Uh, maybe uh, 
you gain in others in others uh, works in other job you put in action in the new in your new new uh, job very good so that is it skills are things that you you gain right for you to to do tasks or activities right good so there are some uh, let's say uh, things that are the benefits of the training the first one is for manuel manuel can you please read the first one okay it improves skills and knowledge Employee training programs help improve the knowledge and skills of employees to match the various change in the industry. These improvements will possibly affect the productivity of workers, which can increase the profits and efficiency of an organization. Some of the things employees may learn through training include work ethics, human relations, and safety. Hey, in your own words, what did you get here? Yes, teacher. Uh, it's important. Uh, you can, let's say, uh, for me, will be uh, uh, a standard uh, as a necessity of uh, every company uh, to, to invest in, in training for employees uh, in, in the area that, that needs, right? Uh, like this paragraph, uh, talking about a uh, work ethic, human relations, and safety. Uh, uh, considering safety uh, because uh, it is necessary the safety of uh, the the employees. Uh, Mostly when the activity is in the activity uh, are risk for the for healthy or the environment. Uh, it is, for example, work ethic, right? But uh, for sure, uh, a, a, a training improve. Uh, increase knowledge, uh, improve the productivity, and it's a, for example, the company uh, receive good benefits. Uh, definitely, when 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 invest in 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 training. Perfect, thank you, Manuel. So definitely, so it's an investment, right? It's not an expense. And yes, I mean, there are many areas. I mean, all yeah. the areas are important. Like yeah. ethics is very important, human relations, safety, not only the productive part. So everything helps uh, the skills of the person. So they become very good in the company. Teacher, may I, may I add a short information? Of course. Okay. Yes, I, I have an example. Uh, I consider uh, uh, somebody of, uh, of a classmate uh, agree. Uh, agree? What do you say? Están de acuerdo? Agree. Agree about, about, about this. Uh, subsystem is a... Uh, Nowadays is a global uh, tool uh, that many many companies around the world are, are using right now. But I, I remember ten years ago in the company that I I am still working. 
eh, a, 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 a big eh, a big eh, amount of, of money contracting this because it, it, it's it is necessary to be connected it, because it's a, a global tools subsystem and in this uh, at this moment is a, a a benefit for company because uh, other company in El Salvador have the, the same system and is is easier to manage different uh, transaction many ta tasks and but I remember it was a a big uh, in, a big investment <laughs> of money but it was necessary and this uh, right now is a it's a a, ben, a good benefit also for the the company that that had already this uh, this system very good so uh, yes you you say something very important I mean, sometimes companies they have to have a vision right yes sometimes it's very expensive but in the long yes, term yes very expensive yes yeah, yeah. uh, sorry uh, i i remember uh, one people from Colombia coming to El Salvador to training all employees that 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 uh, we are that they are going to use this system. <laughs> a Colombian person, a Colombian people. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that is it. I mean, sometimes it's very expensive, but very expensive, if, the, yes. if the company have a uh, long-term vision, they know that it's going to be very good for the employees and for the company, right? Yes. So it's going to be very, very nice. Good. Uh, the next one yeah, is going to be for Carla Vasquez. Okay. It satisfies the recommendation of performance appraisal. When when an organization employees performance appraisal suggests they need for improvement on particular subject or skill, training programs can be organized for a staff member to help satisfy this requirement. Training requirement. requirement. Training can therefore address an in identify problem area or work toward a solution. Okay, what do you get from this? When, when, when the organization can see the performance uh, to suggest the need um the no when the organization see the performance the any employee in their performance is have a minor level that organization need the organization uh, should should be uh, available to uh, support uh, this employee that need uh, uh, any any training in that uh, in, in any training uh, to support the development in the in different areas the company need to uh, these employees. Very good. So yes, uh, it's going to be like uh, to, to organize people. So everybody in every department is going to have different needs, right? So we need to consider those things. So whenever we're going to deliver the training. Okay, the next one. 
It's going to be for Susana Beatriz. It's preparing employees for higher? Higher. Higher, higher responsibilities. Training program can also help preparing employees for who are moving into higher roller and taking on more responsibility in our organization. Their program will help them learn, learn the skill that are required to function effectively in their new position. For example, uh, they may be training and leadership skill or in a specific soft, software uh, they will use in their new role. Okay, what do you get from this? Um, uh, I I think uh, uh, there is a after after comment commenter uh, that uh, is a a. It is necessary in the organization that training its employees, but it's a because um it's a, it's a como la a, I help a is a escalar o, o subir de de puestos grow grow within the company okay grow the company a uh, it, it, it equals in in your comment uh, the article is a is a responsibility the organization but is a a in training a new training but is a the the employees a, a change the new positions mm -hmm. okay very good so that is it right so when you get trained somebody uh, and, and they're getting ready for positions about, I mean, it's going to be a win situation because uh, you will prepare people to stay in the company and also to be the next leaders, right? Good. It shows employees that are valued. Wendy Maribel. It shows employees they are valued. Implementing training programs in the workplace will help employees feel like the company is invested in them. By continuing to teach your employees new skills and abilities, ab abilities. they abilities. will not abilities. 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 Ability. They will not just become better workers, they will feel like more productive members of the organization. This will improve their moral moral as well as their workplace capacity. Cap hey, what do you guys capabilities, yeah? Um, 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 like um, 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 Continuing of this for 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 other abilities and other things in in their in their employees. Okay. Uh, yes. When you, uh, I believe that whenever we get a training, we feel that we are important, right? That we are part of the company. That we are going to be there uh, for a long time. Many things. So that's why this is a very important thing because the uh, 
the people, they feel, the employees, they feel that they are a very important part of the company and they feel that they add value to it. Definitely, this is something very, very Okay, it tests the efficiency of a new performance management system. And sell me. Yes, teacher. It tests the efficiency of a new performance management system. Employee training programs help an organization test the efficiency and effectiveness of a new performance management system, which will help human resources establish clear performance expectations. Using these sentence systems to train your employees will reinforce the necessity of meeting goals and help employees better understand what is expected of them. Okay, what do you get from here? Uh, related to the evaluation for a training. Um, e e evaluation to test the efficiency of a new performance. Well, um, I believe that uh, is related to the methodology for evaluate the, the, let you say teacher, um, it's related to the, the maybe if, if the programs of training is, um, is according of the expectation of the employees. Yeah, that's what you say was very good. Uh, so the expectation were met. But is the method of evaluation uh, like assessing or like a survey? Because at the end? using this system to train. Uh -huh. The assessment of evaluation, the the new performance system. Yes, that's it, teacher. Okay. Okay, yes. Uh, but I mean, it's possible to not necessarily re relate to system in informatics, inform technology system. Oh, yes, teacher. I don't know. That's why it says management system. It's possible so... the other type of tools. Yeah, anything that is related to the, the way that you are handling mm -hmm. a, a business. So that would be. Okay. And yes, it's going to be like uh, when you when you are going to introduce, for example, a new system, anything, any, any change that you are going to put into the company, uh, the training is going to be a good way to test that one. Sometimes it helps you to change things on those systems. So it's a very good tool, right? And this one is actually the one that is related to technology. So uh, Gloria, Elizabeth. Another possible. Uh, Adriana, Stephanie. Not possible either. Let's see then. Walter Morales. Okay. Improves it a uh, computing skill. AT. A training programs help employees learn about a specific com computing skill and it. It IT a, IT <laughs> topic shoes at the using software system companies and mentoring their employees to create graphs and spread the shares. Edit data the their 
that based in our state network and arrangements in order to provide to provide a more provide, provide a more compensable understanding of computer to improve workplace efficiency. Okay, what did you understand here? Is it's very important teacher in all the companies. And uh, the company and always uh the capacitation the IT AT and is necessary in my workplace is uh and they use the software different the program designs is very important uh uh, a training the employees is a good uh, a good word a good word and my experience and I received the difference the different uh, training the uh, the the programs the programs is very good uh, uh, all the company are uh, working the good product is a benefit the company a benefit a uh, person is necessary and an implement the training the uh, this the software programs. Okay, very good, perfect. So different, you know, all the all the companies they use different uh, softwares, different systems. Of course, the employees they need to know how to use the system so everything is efficient. I mean, whenever a company purchases a uh, software, it's because they want to be more efficient, they want to be more productive, many other things. But the employees they need to know system so everything goes well good categories of training and development for employees so this is something that appears in the video and we're going to read about those right now uh, there are many different categories of training that employees can undertake in or out of the workplace including says and says management training okay that is going to be for edwin alexander Man management training. Employees can undergo different levels of management training when they are being promoted to managerial or senior level positions in organizations. This type of training is meant to prepare them for the additional higher responsibilities they will have the organization. Okay, what do you get here? What I get here, uh, teacher, is the... Uh, this management training is to to prepare the, the employees to get a higher responsibility like to like a boss or management something very important in a company so that is mm -hmm. it right uh, yeah. there are a lot of programs in companies uh, that are for this because they want people to grow within the company so it's something very very important very good thank you welcome Okay, sales training, uh, Silvia Suleiman. Okay, teacher. Uh, okay. Uh, sales, sales training, employees, especially those in the sales and marketing industries may be required to be through sales training sales. to sharp sales 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 training to sharpen their skills in selling in marketing a company's product and service okay what do you get from this um, 
is necessary uh, training about the sales training. Uh, definitely. <laughs> huh? Yeah, go ahead, continue, please. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's very simple. Uh, if the company is a sales company, definitely you need training in sales like techniques. Uh, they need to understand the products and services so they can explain. I mean, yeah, this is very, very important. So let's check on the job training. That is going to be for, let's see. Susana Beatriz. Not possible, okay? Okay, ah. teacher. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, reading, but, teacher? Yes, please. <coughs> Excuse <What>? me. <laughs> On the job, a uh, training. When an employee first starts at a company, they may re they receive on the job training that will help them learning what is expect, expected of them as well as the job skill necessary for their new position. Okay, what did you get from this? Give me. Is it similar at uh, 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 the um, the and the what? next no um anterior teacher how do you say anterior before or uh, previous before, <laughs> before is a uh, but is a uh, the company it uh, has has a has a, a training employees uh, independent um, that is a position or the end training, uh, but is a uh, in old uh, programs, uh, but is a uh, the employees is a uh, 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 desem desenvolverse. How do you say desenvolverse? Developed. Development. 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 Uh, what is in your uh, responsibility? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So, very interesting, right? Because, uh, yeah, this is, there is a name for this kind of training. So, when, when you are new at the company, the name of that one is on the job training. So, uh, we need to remember that one because I mean, if you are here learning it, sometimes, in the future, maybe you are going to be in on the job training. Good. Mentoring scheme. Okay, that is for Manuel Antonio. Mentoring scheme. Sometimes, especially in the case of entry level staff members, employees may be required to work under an experienced supervisor or manager in order to learn more about their job and gain preliminary experience to work in an organization. Teacher, just uh, please, uh, what is the, the meaning of scheme? Or... Scheme is like, uh, you know, when you do like step-by-step -step thing, uh, scheme the Spanish is a schema. Ah, okay, 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 very good. Yes, a uh, mentoring schemes, uh, like paragraph uh, means, uh, is a is a part of of training when when employees. They already uh, have a position, but if if it is necessary to 
to have in 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 a specific moment uh are necessary to to launch for example new products or a new service a mentoring scheme is a is a tool that a for uh, uh, for sure uh, this uh, type of training is a uh, introduct for a, a for a experienced person for example supervisor or manager right yeah i so, I, I understood that i'll show you that is it i mean uh, sometimes it, that is like a regular mentor right? so when you want to get trained from a special person in a different position, so they start teaching mm -hmm. what they do and uh, what skills you need for a certain position. So it's a very good. Okay, in-house training. Let's see. So sign up on this. Okay, teacher. In-house training. Most organizations conduct different levels of in-house training for their staff. One option is to have experienced them, experienced member of your organization serve as facilitators, and another is to bring in external trainer to help teach employees or managers specific skills or abilities. Okay, what do you get from this one? I think this practice um, is very used when when you work in home. Okay. Uh, and this time is very common. See that. It's very common, yeah. Or Actually, in another it's... case. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. sorry. Another case, I think, uh, like you, you are in your home. Teach us. I don't know. Always have uh, many relation with that. Yeah. Okay. So. I think it's, it's like. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I was going to tell you that in-house training doesn't mean that you are at home. It means that, for example, imagine that you are in a company, you have people in my department that they have a lot of experience. So what companies they do is they don't pay to an external trainer to come to the company. They say to these employees that have a lot of experience to give the, the training, to deliver the training. So that is in-house training. So it's going to be related to employees that become trainers for specific could be, skills. Could be a, could be a, a co-worker, maybe? Exactly. Co-workers are going to be the ones who train other people. Okay, I understand. Okay, very good, perfect. Okay, then it says personal study. Employees can also dedicate themselves to personal study to train on a particular topic of interest. There are many good reference materials available online that can be used of this case. And then we have the blended training. And this one is like different classes of training. So they are together, uh, things like that one. And then we have 11 benefits of training employees. So employers derive many benefits from organizing training programs for their employees especially when they dedicatedly and consistently carry out these products. And here are 11 benefits that we can get from these uh, trainings that we can have for companies. Uh, let's start with the first one, number one, Anna Selby. Number one, increase productivity and performance. When employees Undergo teacher. Undergo, yeah. Undergo training. It improves their skills and knowledge of the job and builds their confidence and their abilities. This will improve their performance and make them work more efficiently and effectively. Yes, teachers, it's a benefit of the training. 
when you learn the better way to do a specific task, uh, your productivity increase. And in general, increase the efficiently, the efficiency, um, and in the result is more effective because uh, the time is less. Mm -hmm. Very good, perfect, thank you. So definitely, you. this is like the, the one that the company are looking to do, right? So at the, at, in general, uh, productivity and performance to be more efficient and more effective uh, is one of the first things that we are looking when we train people, right? Number two, uniformity of work processes. Uh, Wendy, my bad. What in brief or in, in number two? Number two, okay. Uniformity or work process. When employees in a workplace are exposed to training, it helps to standardize, standardize the work process among the staff. Workers will up, apply, apply and follow similar procedures. As a result of their exposure to similar training. Good. What do you get from that? Um, it, it is uh, in the training uh teach or learning uh equal process or equal um a standard in the process or or a standard in the work very good so that is a very important word standard so everybody does same thing the same procedures and uh, that is a very important part of any company is for me i believe it's one of the best things that we can do in in a company because it's going to comply with anything that we need to do in any procedures, right? Oh, the number three is also important. Reduced wastage. Adriana Stefan. Not possible. Gloria Elizabeth. No, possible. Susana Beatriz. Three, uh, three, teacher? Yes, please. Number three, okay. Reduces what, what takes? Wastage. Wastage. When employees are training, they will learn, learn, learn to make good, safe, an economical use of company materials, tool and equipment. Equipment. Accident, equipment. Equipment. Accident and equipment damage will be minis, minis Mi, size, mini, minimized. 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 And this will uh, keep waste low. Okay, what did you get from this? Um, and the company is a proportion proportional, and this uh, a tool a equipment equipment at the at the employees uh, for necessary for is a uh, but is a. Uh, Desenvolvement, eh, ¿cómo es? Development, development, 
development and your uh, your obligation or is a responsibility? Mm -hmm. For is a the and for is a work. <laughs> Very good. So yes, I mean, uh, to reduce any kind of waste is very important. So time, ma material, uh, I don't know, any resources, we need to take care of them. And then uh, if you get a training and you know exactly how to do things very well, definitely you're going to be fast and <coughs> you're going to use the... <coughs> their resources in a better way. So definitely it's very, very important. Reduce supervision, that is also important. Uh, let's see, Carla Vasquez. Okay. Reduce supervision. So training employees should not totally eliminate the need for supervision. 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 It can significantly reduce the need for excessive supervision in the worst case. Okay, what do you get here? I think that the all employees work better when when don't have um uh excessive or supervision because the the truth of the confiance teacher trust the trust yes the trust in the employee for do the the activities is very important for 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 the feeling that employees go okay that is true. Many, I mean, many, many times, many times is very, it is a good experience, a worse by truth. Okay. Uh, yeah, when the employees, when they do the job very well and they're very fast, I mean, you don't need somebody to be checking that all the time, right? And uh, not only is the investment as a of supervisor, but also uh, the employees they feel better, right? I mean, they but, get trust. Huh? But yes, but here uh, there are um, uh, a special point that the employees to should be professional too. Definitely, if they are not, I mean, it's not possible. Yes. Susanna, you want to say something? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. I think this all part is relation with receive a good induction at new job is is the most important and the next that you keep mm -hmm. the instructions. I think is is the point, is the object. That when company have um have to manuals or procedures for do something. Definitely. So on the job of a uh, training is vital. So uh, everybody does what they need. To do. So it's very very important that uh, the training at this point is is a very good thing. So the employees understand and they do what they have to do. And then, I mean, no major supervisor is, is going to be needed there. Okay, promoting from within, uh, Walter Mauricio. Not possible. Edwin Alexander. Not possible either. Alejandra Najera. Not possible either. Silvia Suleiman. Not 
uh, promoting promoting from within. Uh, this is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When an organization needs professionals with new or specific skills, they don't have to go into the labor market to employ new professionals from outside source. They can look inward and select promising staff member who can be promote, promoted after they are trained in this set of new skills needed by the organization. What did you understand here? Uh, that... Sorry, teacher. I I read of you. Don't worry, go ahead. Uh. In this case, um, the the uh, the resource human, for example, need um, a, need need select the the person uh, correct. And in this case, um, is. Can be promoted uh, employees in in for the new for the new labor for the new job. Yes, yes. Only okay, that's perfect. So yes, I mean this is like the one that we discussed before, right? Uh, if the uh, the organizations train people and they want to move to other departments and become the new leaders, uh, it's going to be easier. Uh, you understand, you check what they need to do, and then it's going to be easier to choose the right person for the next job. Good. Number six, Susana Hernandez. Improve the organization structure. When a company has an organization system of training for employees, it helps them learn in a consistent and systematic way. It also prevents the employees from learning by trivial and error. What do you get from that? I think the big companies had a, a good structure and had a plan and have a plan to training. And sometimes many topics is repeat, is repeat. But it's necessary for for them. How do you say when for the rubro? For the department, you can say for the LOB. Okay, for the department, and I think that I think is is a plan for training. Okay, so yes, uh, the structure of the whole thing. Is going to be better. All the departments are going to be better when they have the correct person working the correct skills and tasks. So it's going to make the company stronger. Very good. In other, in other, other class teacher, we're talking about 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 this relation, and when the company needs to modernize his way to to teach. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, we need to move with the new technologies, the new trends, and things like that. So, it's going to be very good. Boosted morale. Let's see. Manuel Antonio. 
Okay, teacher. Boost morale. Employees of organization who go through training program will feel like they are a part of a supportive work environment where they are appreciated, which will boost their morale and make them approach their job duties with more self-confidence. Okay, okay, what do you get this? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, this uh, action that calls uh, keep on track uh, training in a company reinforce the skills or the knowledge of employee uh, besides uh, they feel that that company uh, support their uh, their training and the company are in interest interested that a uh, employee uh, feel the the they the employees uh, self confident uh, also he, uh, example is uh, they feel uh, they feel uh, employees uh, feel a part of the of the company and also they feel appreciate very good perfect that is that is it actually so when you get the training and you feel that you are valuable for the company and that uh, you understand what you have to do definitely you are going to feel very good and you are going to be there working very nice so that is something that is very good for them improve knowledge of policies and goals susana beatriz Improve knowledge of policies and goals. A good training program will always help employees get uh, acquainted, acquainted, <laughs> acquainted uh, with their organization, ethic, values, policies, uh, visions, and missions. Hey, what did you understand here? Um, and but is um the what he, uh, all a uh, training uh, what the hell uh, has has a uh, is a uh, has a vision and the policies, the policies, the the proceedings, the the company. Uh -huh. But it's a an what is a a ruler. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, whenever you have people that are trained and that they understand the processes and procedure very well. Uh, I mean, they are going to provide feedback and then you will be able to improve the policies. I mean, what you have to do within the company and the goals, the KPIs, things like that. So it's going to be a good thing for the company that is going to get all the feedback from the employees and then get exactly what they have to do. So very good. Improve customer valuation. Wendy Maribel. Okay. The night or the thing? The number, uh, number nine. I mean, improve customer valuation. When employees of an organization are exposed to training it improves their skills on the job and make them work more professionally and produce 
Productively. Productively. Customers will feel the impact of this elevated service and it will improve their opinion of the organization. What did you get? Mm. Definitely, right? So, for example, if you, uh, I mean, as a customer, when you go to a company, you and you need anything, uh, you are going to check that you understand, you feel, you feel when the employee, they know what they have to do. You go and, for example, if you go to Claro or Tigo or anything like that, right? Uh, you feel when they don't know, right? And the opposite of what you feel when they know and they say, oh, yeah, I can help you. I'm going to do this, this, and the problem is going to be fixed. Or I'm going to give you exactly what you're looking to. So and then the, the customer is going to be happy with the company. And is going to recommend that one and continue uh, purchasing for the company. So it's a very good thing for the company to have employees that they really try to help their customers. Definitely. Okay, number 10. Let's see. Susana Hernandez. Better workplace environment. 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 Yeah. Environment. Consistent training will help employees work more effectively, effectively in the workplace environment. This brings about an atmosphere in the organization that encourages every encourage every employee to feel valued and welcome. Okay, what do you get from this one? I don't remember what is I mean environment. I listen, but I don't remember what is I mean. Okay, environment is like where you are in, I mean, the whole office, the people, everything that is surrounding you. So this, that is the environment. It's like, it's like a good, Clima organizacional, maybe? Something like that. Very good. ¿Y cómo se diría? Clima organizacional. Uh, that is environment. Yeah, workplace environment. Ah, environment. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, I think it's a environment in, well, in my, in my workplace, we have a, we have a good ambiente. Good environment. Huh? That is uh, also good environment. environment. Uh -huh. um, we are very. Um, how do you say? We are funny. We have a sport in the co-workers, and we have a a good boss, and we have many benefits. Always, always. I always listen to music. Okay. Yes. And have a culture like open door. Okay. And I think it's relation like that. I could a good job. And if you relation with a training and um, um when have a, a topic, receive uh, everything the same. Okay, it's so that's not, not, not that many right. exclusions. It's, re, it's very real. Okay. 
So yes, I mean, that is uh, something very good. I mean, if you are happy in your job, oh my goodness, that is amazing, right? When you say, I, I like my job, that is something very important. Uh, so when you have a very good understanding on what you have to do, because you have a very good training, uh, of course, the environment is going to be very nice, very good. So this is something very important that we can have. If I think, goes. teacher, huh? uh, we don't have we don't have offices. So sea, is all this open? Okay. Like call center, mm -hmm. but it's not called center. Okay. <laughs> I think this this help for us. Okay. So yeah, that is good. I mean, uh, when you are happy there, when you are helping other, when you are uh, listening to other people in your job, okay, definitely it's going to be something something very good, and then you are going to feel trustable and valuable. So those things are very important. Number 11, that is for Rosa Elena. Okay. Improve and update technology. With the ever increasing change in technology across all industries, exposing employees to new te techniques in advanced technology will help to increase efficiency and productivity in the organization. Okay, what well, did you understand that? Um, nowadays, technology uh, uh, nowadays technology play a, play an important role in the companies. Uh, one of these days, uh, I was talking with my boss, uh, talking about the the inventory system that Walmart use. It's amazing! They use uh, label machines with uh, assist a Wi-Fi system. And I tell, imagine if we have one of these at the company, at the warehouse. Oh my God, the 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 war will be more uh, uh, more easily uh, to to um, uh, classify the inventory. And yes, he told me yes, but uh, sometimes. The, the companies need to invest. But one day, one day we, we're going to have this technology at the warehouse uh, because uh, technology is important. It's important to, to increase the, the productivity and the efficiency in the organization. So that is it. Yeah, as you say, technology is very important. We need to invest in new systems. And of course, we need to invest in people to understand those systems. So they are able to, to use everything that is needed to that one. Very good. Yeah. For example, at the first at the first time, the company is going to invest in in trainings to to the to the people how to use the system, the machines. But uh, at the last of the of the time. Uh, the efficiency and the productivity will be will be more efficiently. Yeah, definitely. Whenever they are able to use this technology, everything is going to be better, and they will be able to to run the business in a smooth way. So more productive, more money, more for everybody. So it's going to be a very good thing. Nice. So this is about the benefits about training. Nice. Okay, so we have a few minutes and we're going to practice. So let's continue speaking about training. Uh, at the beginning, we were saying what kind of topic would you like to deliver as a train? So uh, anybody else wants to share? I mean, if you were a teacher, what topic would you like to teach? Manuel was saying something interesting, like helping people uh, for the community and things like that. So that would be good. Anybody else? Like, like teacher, uh, I, 
uh, I I remember uh, uh, a few months ago. I was talking with the with the in charge of uh, human resource uh, about the first eyes in a in an office because uh, I would like to be part of the uh, the staff of uh, first eyes uh, because I I never had a, I never had a training about about that uh, because. Uh, they consider, in my case, I, I always uh, be in on the client, on the street. Uh, it's a short time that I I am in into the office, but I consider it, it is not necessary uh, to be an specific area or part when a, when when an accident uh, how do you say occurre happened okay mm -hmm. when an accident happened right and they and, and she said okay for this day when we re how do you say uh, uh, when we create a uh, the news the news uh, staff or uh, how do you say a synonym staff? Uh, staff like uh, the workers, the co-workers, anything like that. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. I I I I am include you, right? Uh, because I I don't. Uh, she 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 told me I I don't. I don't talk about you, but for sure I I I, I am include you. Okay, I am waiting for the news. Uh, a group of of first L, because it is necessary for because uh, the Ministry of Work they require this uh, annual annual they they require that every company uh, may may have uh, these uh, groups for emergencies. Okay, very good. So that sounds like a very good plan. And have you ever felt, I mean, are you part of that team already? Are you doing that already or are you still not? Uh, I'm still not, teacher, yes. But you spoke with your uh, with the person in charge. Uh, I I I would like teacher and I am willing. I have a I have a, a I willing I have a willing. Okay, so that sounds good. I mean, my best advice would just to go and speak with the person and check. Yes, and it is good for you to. To learn exactly what you want, and since you are going to collaborate with the company, I believe that everything will be fine. Yes. Very good. Perfect. Any other person wants to share? What would you like to teach? Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Um, I have two topic. In my opinion, uh, this topic are very important to teaching. Mm, number one, the intelligence emotional in all level teacher of the system of education. And the other topic related to the financy personal, the all level two. I believe that these topics are very important in our education in 
our educational system. system. Mm -hmm. Yes, educational system. Yeah. Uh, okay, so and informal you... education teacher. Okay, good. So would you teach that to to students at school, something like that? Mm, yes, all, only a university level teacher. Mm, okay. And if you if you were to do something like that one, if you were to teach that, let's say at the university, uh, would you do that in the first years or in the last years of the university? The last, the last level teacher, the last semester. But in my opinion, it's very important. Yes, according of the age, mm -hmm. but the two topics they are very important to learn in inclusive. Uh, since prim primary mm -hmm. levels. Yeah, you are right. I, I understand that in other countries, they do that one, I mean. Um, yes. They teach. The, in, the, in the first, in the country of the first war, is right. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's very good. I mean, they speak yeah. about success, finances, saving money. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it, it's the reason of the uh, a lot of problem in our in in our adult life. <laughs> that is true. It's so true. Sometimes, I mean, I believe in general Latin American countries are I kind of difficult yeah. in those topics. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that that sounds good. So yeah, it sounds like a very good thing for you to to teach and then uh, change lives, so that is good. Anybody else wants to share? What would you like to teach if you had the chance? And I agree Not with Anaceli. And I agree with Anaceli because financial education is important all the time. Nowadays, maybe it's taking, a, it's, it's watching like a relevant, topic but I think that financial education all the time is is very important because uh, maybe I don't know make it maybe we don't going to be rich in 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 a years but uh, we can have a, a healthy financial uh, situation and I agree with Anna Selmi. I like to teach a uh, financial education and also okay. uh, emotional emotional intelli intelligence intelligence yeah yeah yes yes it's, it's important I remember one once in my life my my emotional intelligence told told me told me me falló how do you say me falló failed failed <laughs> Okay, faith. Uh -huh, yeah, I, I make a mistake. I, I was a, uh, uh, how do you say? Uh, yeah, but it's important. Intelligent, intelligent, emotional is important. It's an important uh, thing that all, all we need to, we need to learn how to manage the emotions. Very true. Uh, yeah, the way that you do things is very important to understand. I believe that one of the most important things in life is to uh, learn who you are, right? What you can do and what you can do. And, and then explore new things, learn things, uh, and check about the emotions. I mean, be empathetic with other people is, is very important. But then uh, again, you need to learn about yourself as well. So to understand who you are and then check what would be your reaction to certain things, right? Certain situations. Good. Anybody else wants to share? Uh, what would you like to teach if you had the chance? Grammar teacher. Yeah, you say grammar, right? So and uh, I like the people write good. Yeah, it's nice right? when you write when you read something that is grammar correct 
and the ideas are clear and everything goes well, it's a very good thing. Uh, in that one, in grammar, uh, if you had the chance, who do you teach to? I mean, uh, kids at school, teenagers, university, which level would you like to teach? To? Or you believe that is the best one? I really like uh, people young. I think it's more I, I it's more easy with kids by learn. But I think people young is a uh, difficult for the teacher too. I really like to say read with books or 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 make a exercise with very difficulty. Okay. So yes, you know, also in other countries, they do that one. I mean, sometimes they play. Have you ever heard that spelling bee? Do you know what is a spelling bee? Yes. Ah, those are very popular in other countries. And the words that they spell are difficult. I mean, there are some words very strange, not that common. And kids, I mean, we're talking about kids. Kids are very good at that one. So they... They are really uh, able to understand words, grammar, structures, many things. So it's a very good thing. So, or when you study literature, in literature, other, literature in other countries is a is a very good body. Yeah, uh, but he, I think in the Salvador is not is not good decision. You are right. I have a friend that see he actually finished. Uh, licenciatura in literature, and he doesn't have a job, you know. I uh, think it's difficult. It's difficult. I mean, he is going to be teacher. I mean, that is it. Uh, I don't know. Compre comprehensive literature teacher is very important. Yeah. Comprehensive. Comprehensive. You're right, teacher. Comprehensive. Yeah. Comprehensive. That's the word. Yeah. Literature is very important because, um, now eh, is less mm, frequently that the in general the people we read less in in the comprehensive because I did the now the for example for the new generation the student prefers a could you say tutorial in English? Tutorial, that is the word. Tutorial. tutorial prefer the tutorial in video and read the uh, instruction in writing. Yeah. Writing. Yeah, and, sure, and people young. Writing. The people young in express. Writing. And for the specific le lesson. It's very difficult for them to um, comprehend comprehend uh, the the test, uh, text text yeah. yes yeah yes teacher. yeah it's very important uh, Susana you were saying something yes the people don't um his expression is is with emojis <laughs> yeah. and the and new the language is Susie. yes yes and many words change with other with when when he say okay putting <laughs> i don't know how how do you say in english that and yeah. many words is like that and in in entre ellos among them okay among them is tending se entienden bien yeah they understand each other mm -hmm. only that teacher thank you very good so that is it i mean uh there are many things that we can do right so i believe that sometimes we have our ideas so we can we can share uh, for example one of the trainings that i would like to deliver in the future is how to be happy and the meaning of life am i that crazy thing 
Okay, so because a lot of people they they are lost in their lives and they are sad. Uh, I know that there are moments for everybody, but we need to understand life. We need to understand that is amazing and difficult, right? And embrace, embrace everything that is happening. So definitely those are things that I would like to teach in the future, maybe. I don't know. I'm planning on that. Okay. Any other person that wants to share? Okay, uh, remember that we need to finish the whole platform, everything by Thursday, okay? Thursday is the last day to finish everything, okay? The final test, you need one, two, three, and four, okay? And uh, we can move on that one these days so everything goes well, okay? Uh, do you have any questions before we finish? Third Thursday this this week is is the finish. Yeah, this week is the the last uh, for this module, and we need to finish uh, the platform this incoming Thursday. In in the finally in all all. all we finish. All yeah, the, the platform has to be done on Thursday this week. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Okay, is my it, friend. Go ahead. Is it, but the last day is Friday or next Monday? No, the last uh, day is Friday. Oh, okay. Yeah, Friday we finish the classes and everything. Okay. And Friday also we're going to do the, the survey from Insafor together. Okay, so let's check the attendance and then let's go to bed. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Alejandra Michelle Wilson Ajeda. Present teacher. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Lindares Galdames. Here. Good. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present. Good night. Good night. María Elena Guadalupe Piñate Escobar. Okay. Mario Ernesto Villera. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Good night. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Yes, Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Perfect. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow. Dream in English. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night.